Hey guys, Scott Bill from FMAB, and this is a different type of video than uh, usual. Did I say, did I just say video? I meant video. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to use YAPE. Now, YAPE is a tool that you can use to uh, Pokemon hack ROM hacks. So, or hack Pokemon games that you have r as ROMs on your computer. So basically, I'm going to open it up. There will be a link in the description for the download of this. If you ever want to make your own Pokemon hack, which I'm working on at the moment, uh, I can't really show anything other than what I'm going to open up, but uh, it opens up as this, stats and all that stuff, but it won't let you touch anything until you open up a ROM. So we're going to go here, and we're going to find a ROM, I think I'll just edit this one, the one by red, and it'll open up, and it will show you edible versions of every single Pokemon here in the game. Yeah, when it comes to the first to third gen. Now, these mysteries are nothing. You can ignore them. They're just placeholders from uh, the original game's data. So, basically, with this, you can edit base stats. So, you could take Bulbasaur's HP stat and just change it to 200. So, that's its base to HP stat. And then these are EVs. How much EVs it gives on. You can change it. So, th 3 special attack. How much max XP you can have. You can give it as much as you want. But uh, only from these choices. Basic XP, you can change it also. Gender ratio, you can change it so it, you can always get what gender, whatever you want. Custom, you can change the percentage of what to what. Uh, you can change its typing, so I'll just keep grass there, but I'll change it into grass fighting type because I can. You can always change the ability into any ability that's in the game at the moment. Um, you have a flame body because you know that's ironic. Uh, held items, whenever you catch it, you get or get it, it's only that item. and Give it some master balls. If you know what I mean, master balls. If I could, if I could make it bigger, then I would, the whole thing, but I cannot. It will not let you. Uh, so, uh, run rate from Spry Zone, zero, so it'll never run away. Catch rate, you can always raise it so that it's easier to catch. Uh, change its evolution stages, so you can always change it so Ivy, it's not an Ivysaur, maybe it stays Ivysaur, but it evolves at level 20 instead, and you can replace, so now it evolves at level 20, Ivysaur, you can make it so it learns different HMs, you can make it so it learns specific moves specific levels, so if I wanted to, I could give it level 1 Dragon Claw, so when it, get, when it evolves, or when it gets to that level, it'll learn Dragon Claw, but I do not think... Level 1 is a suitable level for a Bulbasaur. Uh, how do I do this? Oh yeah, it's uh, no available moves. Now what I mean by available moves is that it has, like, maximum moves on it. And not just the Pokemon. All the Pokemon. So basically, any Pokemon, they're maximum. So if you were to go to, let's see, Ivysaur, remove, remove. Now I have two available moves to give away to any Pokemon. This is so that it doesn't override the system. So if I wanted to, I could give uh, Bulbasaur now. I could give him level 1 or 2 dragon claw there you go and add and there you go a level 2 and dragon claw you know also change it how much what HM moves it learns or no it learns all HM moves this does not override the data it's it's in a separate uh, section Pokedex entry so you can always change what the Pokedex entry says like I'm gonna change it so it's a bulb Pokemon bulb bulb Pokemon the color is going to be purple and I can always change what it says. This Pokemon is cool. There you go. <laughs> you can always change its height, weight, uh, P offset, P size, Pokemon offset, Pokemon size, T offset, T size. I don't know what this stuff does. And it breeds to Bulbasaur, evolves once, moves 12, HMs 8. TM's 15, EV's 1, and SAT total 318. You can also change its name, so you can rename the Pokemon, so if I wanted to, I can name it Bulb Dinosaur. But it has to make sure it stays under the maximum characters. Bulb? What am I What am I thinking? I want it to be Bulb. What am I thinking? Bulb Dino. So now, its Pokemon name is Bulb Dino, so you can go through the whole game and change it. And there you go, that's basically how to use, uh, advanced map. Or not a bit, advanced map. I've done a video on advanced map. If I can find it, I'll put it in the description below. But uh, I'll probably make a new one because this Pokemon hack stuff is getting into the stages where I can show you stuff and how I do things. So, evolution editor, advanced stuff, language you can change. I think it's only English, but there's, you can get, uh, extra ones on the website. 
uh, save. I'm not going to save because I'd rather not save it. And there you go. And if I open it up again, from what I remember, it auto saves. But we'll see. And no, it doesn't. So that's good. So now my game isn't changed at all. And there you go. If you don't like what you've done, just close it. Recent. Shows up here. And that's all you have to do. So uh, thank you all for watching. Scott Pilgrim, if maybe. Out.